Hello, my name is Tatiana Zaitseva. We are in Natural Pigments Studios and uh, I invite you to our snow California, snow in California. And uh, so today is an unusual day. Uh, we are doing special event at the factory. And so that's why we ask all our employees to uh, turn off all machineries, all mills and fence, then hopefully nobody will bother us today. This is first time we are doing uh, that kind of events and so hopefully it will be his historical and hopefully it will be in history every year we will repeat because last year we completely failed to do this for you guys and so uh, corona scared all of us and so we were completely unprepared for holiday season and when you started call us and ask do we have something special we did sell a lot uh, of some of the sets and i will show you today what was last year um, bestsellers but today we prepared for you a lot of great gifts and i so thank my uh, marketing director leslie Linau. she did great job with photographs because otherwise my gifts will not be as beautiful without photographs so today you will have special email where will be landing page where you can buy uh, easy uh, all gifts what uh, we will present for you today and um, end of the day we probably will have the banner special banner banner on website on it will be on red it will be very visible where you can click and see all today gifts um what this year we decided to have a theme on uh, our gift guide and its explorer so because we felt like it so many years so many of you call us and saying then we would you you would like to try some uh, pigments but you don't know how they look like how they behave and um, so many times you ask us to to send like us like small teeny tiny um jars and we never had that uh, uh, that kind of jars and so we usually sell on 10 or 50 or 100 grams very expensive uh, uh, pigments or inexpensive and 100 grams and 500 grams so this year we come up with that teeny tiny jars and we call that explorers and you can see so we have blue explorer set and uh, on the bottom of the, the tube, you can read the names. And George, if you will show us close, right here. So every, every pigment has a name. So then you can identify. So I will move a little bit like this. And so, and, uh, so it has a cork. Uh, and we cover that actually with, uh, with wax. So then on the transportation it will not be breaking and uh, literally look at this so that would be the box that it's called explorer blue pigments here's explorer yellow pigments and orange there here's explorer red and again so you can see here and the uh, prices, of course, just because we are talking about very expensive pigments, so the prices for that sets will be a little bit pricey. But so for that reason, we have a little bit uh, smaller sizes even. And so then it's a little bit more affordable. And we have even teeny tiny ones, oops, like this. So, Again, uh, everything today you will see on, uh, on our uh, newsletter. We are sending, George, you can put back. And um, so I actually supposed to start from completely different um, uh, ideas. So we will cover everything today, not only pigments. So we started with pigments because the company name is Natural Pigments. And um, so then afterwards we will go to 
watercolors, and uh, then oil mediums, then oils. We will have special prices today and special packaging. And then we will cover silver points and gilding. And of course, on the end, I will talk uh, to you about last year bestsellers. And so we'll see what, uh, what you will like. And uh, so we are streaming live. Please write us questions and George will, by the way, George, like always, assisting me behind the camera. And so he will read the questions. And, um, and by the way, since we have Snow California, we have customers from all over the world. And uh, we would like to know what's your temperature now and in, uh, in behind, behind your windows. Is that correct? <laughs> Outside. <laughs> outside, outside. So this how our explorers look like. They all different looking, and so and I hope you will definitely like that uh, that unusual uh, kit, and of course very very unusual one. I will move right here, and look at this. This one has every expensive color, unusual, historical or mod modern. And so all of them, again, have names. That's how you can identify. And so, by the way, among that colors, we have their lazurite, azurite. We have vermilion, cinnabar. I'm sorry, not vermilion. Vermilion is gone. I, we would like to bring back and hopefully George one day will make for us. But for now we have Cinnabar. And um, uh, by the way, just to explain to you, so uh, Cinnabar is one of the most, um, he actually it is the heaviest pigment existed right now for the uh, on artist palette. And so uh, buying just one jar of that, uh, that pigment, you you will pay actually no in normal time you will pay around 160 dollars just for one jar and we are giving you uh i think it's around 50 jars right here in that uh, chest so i will take out most of them and uh, we will continue with other gifts and uh, so I already mentioned then uh, that was quite expensive gift for probably for very special person in your life or for yourself. So I would like I like to give the gifts then instead of taking the gift. So that's uh, that's my thing. So but if you like to give somebody so look at this pocket box and that's actually looks like book and. Uh, it's how it's look like. Oh, okay. I see. Thank you very much. And here we have our pearlescent pigments. So pearl, copper, gold, and silver. So that's how it's packed. And that's obviously much more uh, affordable. And it's, um, it's very, I think it's very cute gift to, to give somebody who, uh, who probably will make their own watercolors uh, or, I don't know, or egg tempera. You can do with egg tempera. For oil probably would not be enough. So, but we have bigger sizes if you do want to make your own uh, pearlescent oil. So uh, next step, because we're always talking about historical colors, and so this year we had unusual amount new pigments in our um, in our uh, factory, and we just, I believe last week we just announced um, uh, I think six new uh, new colors, and so. And longest time on natural pigments, of course, we, we had um, uh, only natural or historical colors. Nowadays, we have modern colors because they are beautiful and we can't escape them. So then uh, we did special set, introduction set for the modern uh, colors and they look like this. 
cute. So it's uh, right here, triangle, and you can see here's how all these colors. Here's Pyrrole, Ultramarine. Let me see if I will pronounce that. Benzimidazolone and uh, titanium. And here's chromium oxide green and uh, black oxide. So cute, uh, very inexpensive uh, gift for somebody who will really appreciate the bright colors. Now we can move to, uh, to our watercolors. And this year we had, um, we had very unusual set. I will show you and um, I can tell you this, we don't have many. And uh, I, I don't rush you to, to, buy, to run and buy immediately. <laughs> but we have, I, I do believe we have only eight made. Uh, and we made this a long, long time ago. We were hoping to, to make more, but five of the pigments of that set we lost completely. We uh, probably one day, maybe we will return back to, to some of them. But at this point, it's um, it's not uh, exist. So like, for example, we have here um, uh, True Vermilion. We have Lajurite, we have green buys, and uh, so that's how it's look like. So this is a uh, round box, which is cute too. So, and it's glass. And uh, so you can use this as a palette, actually, if you need to, to mix it. And um, so, and here's, again, names of the uh, ivory color. And uh, we have empty, uh, empty jar for the water if you need or for the medium and it's uh, convenient ha convenience half the the glass cover so and every each of the jar has the cover so you can see like that so um, I completely I thought I brought the uh, new brushes. We just got new brushes yesterday. So, uh, with, uh, Leslie, can you bring please? It's yes, it's a uh, squeezer. So what we will do, we will, um, we will give you if when you buy that set, so you, uh, we will send you set of, um, brushes with, um, water holder. Yes, George, is that how water holder. So uh, I will show you in the second while um, Leslie is, is bringing me back. How convenient to be in factory. Usually, usually when we film that in our uh, home studio, so because we do afraid all, all noises. And of course, this this time we decided to do this at factory because we do have all that uh, that gifts right here prepared for you. Oh, George is showing me then we have a question. I almost can see uh would you ever Someone consider acrylic ryan no but again you know thank you very much leslie so that's um uh, george can you uh, just go back and i will ryan i will back uh, i will be back uh, to to acrylic so we just received yesterday that would be set of the um pens where you can basically to pour water right here to pour water right here and then you can just when you, while you're squeezing so to to your uh, pan so then it will uh, um, deliver enough water just to to make that uh, uh, color floorable so that is completely new and that would be your gift with uh, with that set Okay, so back to Ryan. Um, I, through, through years, I learned uh, to say, never say never, but five years ago, I, I told uh, on all our classes and all, uh, all our customers that we never will have cadmiums because everybody else making cadmiums, uh, other companies doing great job, why to bother? But ended up then we actually make our colors quite different 
um, you probably know, then we don't put any additives. So then we ended up to make uh, cadmiums and every artist noticing the difference between other cadmiums from uh, other companies and us. I, for now, I tell you, we are that busy with oils and watercolors and now sera colors, which I forget to mention, we will uh, have a special gift for you guys who paint with encaustic or sera colors. So I don't think I want to even touch acrylics, especially we have great companies who already make that, um, uh, that product. So no acrylics, but here what uh, you can do uh, for yourself you can use any of our pigments and you can use any of your favorite uh, uh, acrylic mediums and you absolutely will have your Ryan's acrylics. Okay, so uh, that was not on our program what I will show you right now because again, it just came. We have several uh, watercolor boxes and uh, by end of probably end of this week, I will put several uh, sets. And again, we already had on our website, uh, on our website uh, before that kind of boxes, you can show it to so, um, so this, this is your regular box. You probably will, uh, will have um, uh, like from Sennelier or uh, Windsor and Newton, we all have the same boxes. Oops, I, I can't pull out, okay, here. And check at this, we have our Rublev travel brush and it's size four and it does keep, keep beautiful, beautiful shape on the, uh, on the end. So that will be included uh, from, from uh, this time, it will be included to our boxes. So again, box looks like this. And uh, of course that could be used as a uh, palette. And so we, uh, like I said, check at uh, end of the week. And uh, so we will have two different uh, uh, colors. And uh, so that's how it will look like, or it will be or three, I mean, uh, six uh, full pens or 12 half pens, or we can have, so we have another boxes and that is of course for its bigger boxes. And by the way, we do sell separate empty um, pens for watercolors. So then you can buy any watercolors and make your own sets. And so then the brush, brushes will be included there too. So this is, like I said, it was, uh, it, we didn't think to uh, introduce today, it just happened. And uh, I'm happy then we are doing this um, on that session. It came on time to our... We have yes, question? yes. <clears throat> what is the closest color you carry to rose matter for oils? Unfortunately, so yes, unfortunately not. And if you're talking about rose matter uh, of Windsor and Newton, so it was true rose matter. And so uh, we have alizarin, you can, can uh, so you can, uh, we have alizarin. Unfortunately, it's uh, light fastness uh, number two and watercolors number three, I believe. So then it's, uh, it's not the best color for uh, light fastness un unless you know how to use that. And uh, we definitely teach, uh, teach you how to use that, um, uh, that color on, um, on our classes because it, you can safely uh, use that color, that's for sure, but um, unfortunately not. And so we are not alone whole world doing, uh, dealing with that. Uh, any more questions? Because we are going to the oils. Yes. Uh, do you care any Chinese, Chinese brushes? brushes? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, we, for now we have only Calibri brushes. It's a German company and um, uh, not why I'm not sure why. I think everybody's keeping Chinese brushes. Why, why to bother? So I, that's, again, whole company was, 
was made or was founded, founded thank you, uh, was founded with the idea to give you something what you can't find. So that uh, we were trying from the beginning uh, to find very unusual materials and, uh, and to say, you know, brushes. Uh, there are so many good companies um, lately in market. So anyway, we sell one of them. It's called Calibri brushes. Okay, uh, not m more questions for now. We will have special, thank you. We will have special deals because every time you call us and you ask about mediums and you ask what medium for what and uh, why would I use one or another and we explain we are very patiently and lovely explain to you um, what's the mediums for and uh, this time I decided to kind of to pack them and as much as I didn't want today to go technical because usually you know the AMA uh, uh, sessions we are doing we we give you as much technical information as possible Today is fun day, but I still will cover uh, quite a bit. So let's start with um, with first one right here, George. And so if we can move, and uh, we divide it uh, on group of three. So then it will be affordable and easy, and so and it will be great uh, um, uh, time to 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 check it. Um, you know, the properties. So here is walnut oil gel. Here's oleo gel and epoxide gel. So three of them are, um, it's like I said, the gel mediums. And uh, so the difference between them, uh, they dry with different time. So the walnut oil is the longest drying time. Oleo gel will basically do not change any drying time for you. Uh, it's it just like you, you, you will use your regular uh, oil colors. And uh, epoxide gel will definitely speed up the, 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 um, the, the drying time. And the idea is because see what when you buy the mediums and so you, you buy one and you, you somehow don't like it and um, so you, you don't understand and you think like oh everything else is bad too so no originally we we made that uh oleo gel oh, sorry <laughs> so we made it oleo gel and then we we had the customers who called and they said then oh my god that's that oil uh, uh oleo gel dries so long so george created epoxide oil which is speeding up the drying time and then we had the call, then they said then the oleo gel is drying too fast for them. So that's why we created a walnut gel. So this is the time to try because uh, we did a great price on that. And so, by the way, I uh, always mention on all our AMA uh, uh, sessions, we never have any sales, any discounts, and that was done um, specifically for to help our stores because we work only with small independent stores in the uh, United States and uh, in Europe and now in Canada. And, um, and I do know Canadian, my favorite Canadian people, you're looking at us, you're watching right now, and uh, many uh, many sets what we will show today are not available for you due to the packaging but if you will write to us and if you absolutely like something today so then we can definitely will help and uh, figure out one way or another how to deliver to you same with uh, same with europe and um uh we i promise you next year we will do on all three uh, three hour platforms, uh, three stores, and so then uh, everything will be the same like in the United States. So, next set would be Italian varnish, Venetian medium, and oleo gel. Again, 
three, uh, three of these mediums are gel mediums. And um, I always, so now our class is saying that Venetian medium is uh, our most romantic medium because uh, it's based on basically 16th century idea when the artists in uh, Venice were using the uh, glass powder and it was, you know, uh, beautiful jewel-like finish. And um, so we created uh, not only, you do know, who, whoever know our, um, uh, our line of colors, we have crystal white, which is lead white mixed with crystal leaded glass. But if you, we understood then, what if you want to make that unbelievable uh, shiny uh, uh, surface? So then that would be a uh, great way to use with Venetian medium. Italian varnish, slightly different. So both of these mediums, Italian varnish and uh, Venetian medium are based on black oil. And so I will, yes, thank you very much. So based on black oil and they, both of them have um, turpentine. So please, if you, if you have trouble with uh, any um, solvents. solvents, so please don't use that one. Th that, that set will not be for you. And um, so Italian varnish, it's essentially what everybody who uses Marija medium and um, wants that sliding property of your brush on, uh, on the surface of the, the uh, painting. So that's what Italian uh, varnish uh, does to, to, the, to the paint. Olio gel is a little bit different. Again, I, uh, we already uh, mentioned so many times, but I will repeat again. Olio gel is linseed oil, just simple linseed oil with fumed silica. Fumed silica, it's a nerd substance. What you probably eat every day, like in ketchup and toothpaste and something. It's, um, uh, but essentially what it does, it's what the, that, substance make the liquid gel and so that's what we did so we did uh, uh, we put fume silica to oil and that become the oleo gel and so this again we put great price for that uh, that set just in order to try remember if you uh, if you don't like turpentine or you can't use turpentine this is not for you so next one is paste medium set. And that set, it's, uh, so it's Velasquez medium, impasta medium, and it's transparent base, underpainting transparent base. I repeat that again, it's underpainting transparent base. This is alkyd based medium and um, so I will return in second to that because I will uh, first explain about our probably the safest mediums we have. It's, it, uh, it's impasta medium and Velasquez. It's basically oil and chalk. In impasta we use chalk and uh, barium sulfate a little bit and so, and uh, in Velasquez we, we uh, mix uh, with uh, like, uh, couple of the in um, hmm, how's that um, it's um yeah what's the chalk is it's a uh, yes but um, it's an extender, pigment. extender pigment so <coughs> obviously I even have uh, brain shots so anyway so it's tender pigments and uh, so the difference is on Velasquez medium, we are using long oil, which is bodied oil, so which make the paint long and stringy. And in impasta medium, we are using uh, um, refined linseed oil, which makes impasta looking. And so transparent base, 
was made specifically for, uh, for people who want to paint underpainting very quick. And uh, with, you can mix with any of your color. And uh, so you don't need to do any more fast you know, um, colors uh, where you need to buy different colors uh, at the same time. So you can just use your favorite colors, what you need to use for underpainting. And so you mix with, um, uh, with transparent base and here, voila, and a couple hours, your first layer is done. Again, be careful with that. Uh, we had the uh, complaints when people don't understand when they are buy what, what they are buying. So it dries very fast and people think then it's sticky and uh, um, can't uh, uh, flow correct. That's why, because this, this is what, uh, what it intend to be. And so if, if it's too uh, thick for you or too sticky for you, so you can add any oil and um, you can uh, still can can be used. So that does have a uh, that does have um, alkets. So it's why the, the the label is different. So you can see the difference. Question. Yes. Uh, does epoxide oil dry as fast as transparent base? No, no. Transparent base dries faster. I specifically didn't put uh, in any of the sets oleo rest gel. Because again, it's uh, based on uh, um, on it's res it's different resin and alkyd, and uh, I have we have people who absolutely love it or absolutely hate that, and so for for us to introduce and put that to the set for the holiday gift, uh, I think it was not wise. So, but I felt like base is uh, because George a little bit modified the formula. Actually, we did, and that new batch, what uh, you knew, uh, you probably, uh, I, I know so many people call us, and so we were out of stock for, um, George, you moving. Um, so, uh, so it was uh, for whole uh, months we were out of stock, and so now he made it and it's absolutely looking great. So you will love that. We have, uh, we have another uh, set, which I uh, believe me, when you will get that set, it will be packed very nicely. But I just wanted to show you. So we have that, that set. So it's uh, six of our gel mediums, but on big sizes. So, and again, that's great gift to, uh, to try. Um, and um, so that will, you will find out that on, uh, on your uh, guide. Yes. Where are we going now? Oh, yes, we are reaching now the oils. So. Let's start, of course, from what, God, it's heavy. So this is our three lead whites. One, so lead white number one, lead white number two. And uh, last couple of years, we started make lead titanium for artists who think then lead white is, um, is not as a peg as they would like. So, um, I, okay. I'll, I'll read that. Too. Okay, thank you very much. I, like, I will finish right now uh, just with yeah. this. So, uh, those of you, obviously, who use our colors regularly, you do know then we, um, we raised the prices last month. We didn't have our lead whites almost two months. So now we are, we do have, I'm again, I, today I will apologize a couple times to our Canadian friends and to our uh, European uh, artists because we still didn't send yet uh, the lead whites to, to your countries. And so we will, we will try to do this before Christmas. And, um, but I, I just want to assure you, we already, we do have enough, um, enough uh, pigment to survive okay so don't panic it's uh, it's there 
Yes, George. How Can would you... you rank your lead whites against each other? Example, lead white number one uh, is better than lead white, titanium lead white. Great question. So it's always when people, uh, when they never bought uh, any of our colors, uh, at any show, people come to us and um, they ask how we are different. And um, so what's the color they need to try? I always say, try two uh, both lead whites, number one and number two, because they, uh, although they are from, from same pigment, the difference is it's uh, the oil. So number one is in linseed oil, number two is in walnut oil. Lead reacts to the uh, walnut oil completely different than in linseed oil. So in lead white number one, it will be stiff and, um, and stringy, but on number two, it will be more, <coughs> I'm so sorry, um, it will be fluffier and longer. You will use both of them at some point, but at least at that point, you will decide which one is for you. Because honestly, we have 50-50 division between artists who absolutely love number one or absolutely can't live without number two. So let titanium, Again, it's one of these colors, what I told George a long time ago, we never will make because it's um, modern pigment titanium. <coughs> that I didn't expect. I'm recovering from, from sickness. And so I, I am apologize for that for a second. This is beautiful mug Leslie gave me for my birthday. We still have music there, so then people will not hear how I'm swallowing. <coughs> anyway, so back to that. But we do realize then, uh, even we suggest for you, when you paint with lead white, sometimes it's too transparent. And um, you do need ore too warm. So you need... Um, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> So uh, you need this oomph, you need this opacity, and uh, the best pigment for that would be, of course, titanium. So it's why a couple years ago we ended up to make our lead titanium. Since prices were up, and uh, I do, based on a number of orders you uh, you you had this, uh, we had from you last October. Uh, obviously, price uh, price didn't um, didn't um, scared you at all. So, but we decided to give you a, a break on that, and so that would be great price uh, to try these three uh, lead white colors. Is there any questions, George? <coughs> okay, here. Um, I don't know which one, yeah, because we, ha we will have three of them. And so they packed nas nicely. And so uh, Leslie did this great job for me, packaging. And so I will be as surprised as you to see uh, that, uh, that set. So that will be, oh, that's, we will have historical yellow. So we will have, thank you. Leslie brought me water. So we will have three Naples yellow. Again, guys, this is historical colors. This is not your mix ochres from like other companies do. They, they call uh, Naples yellow, but they, they ended up to give you a mixture of uh, ochres. But here we will have Naples yellow, Naples yellow dark, and uh, Naples yellow Paris. They, three of them, completely different colors and uh it's uh, usually it's quite expensive and uh i mean it's expensive even by now but this time we uh we uh, just dress up for you and um and put all of them uh together in one box and that's magnetic um magnetic box when you will use your 
Naples yellow, you see you can actually reuse your colors. They, uh, these boxes are magnetic and they can be stored very, um, very small amount, but small spaces, yes? <clears throat> okay, this one, let's go to next one. I still don't know which one. So again, it's a um, surprise for all of us. Oh, here's modern yellows. And here we will have three cadmium yellows. So we have three of them. It's uh, interesting on my screen, all that looking very orangey. I, uh, I hope it's, uh, it will, um, you know, not, scared you so then something we are selling you this for me on screen it's look the same absolutely the same colors but they are so different and um, again we are uh, putting that in a special gift box and we are giving you great price for that so this would be that set and then of course just because i know what would be the third one so that would be the modern reds and so what we will do here we have uh, cadmium red light, which is, yes, back in stock. And Linda, I know you were waiting for that. You wrote me today. Uh, actually, uh, three uh, people today wrote exactly the same message. It's about um, uh, cadmium red light. We have back in stock right now. And... Um, Yes, and you're right. It's a uh, cadmium yellow light is out of stock. So, but we uh, we definitely we definitely um, have uh, we will have by, by the end of the week. So, uh, and so here's cadmium orange. So, oops. Okay, here's the box. Okay, great. Next is. Is that already silver point? Okay, let's do that. <clears throat> Finally, we have that. So that box. So we have two big boxes and a small box, and that's called silver bounty. And um, for people who um, who never painted or who never draw with silver points, that would be great introduction. We have here all metals what uh, so we have I, I think we have uh, like around 10 or 12 different metals and so here's the great trial and uh, and of course the uh, pen so that's what um, so how it works I can show you right here so here's for wide here's uh, uh, would be you know you can see the bigger hole and here's you and he no it's opposite okay here's bigger hole you can see uh-huh thank you and uh, here's smaller one so basically that pen you can use on uh, on for both from one side for thin and another side for um, for wide um, silver points so that's the one set Here's another one, and that one called, let me see, how, because we made that cute names, and uh, I will tell you the name right now. Who will tell me, George? Can you tell me? Oh, it's Posh Box. It's Posh Box. So, yes, 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 it's Posh Box. So what we have here, here's a little bit different. So we will have gold point, which is not obviously included on, uh, on that uh, first one. And we have, uh, so that, that is thin, thin uh, and here's white silver. And we have copper wool pad. 
and the, uh, we have three different uh, uh, metal wool pads, so copper, bronze, and uh, aluminum, and all of them, of course, have different um, uh, grays. Don't expect, if, uh, if you never uh, draw with, uh, uh, with silver point, don't expect uh, gold on your uh, surface if you are drawing with gold. It still will be gray lines. So we include for you uh, one bag of just a trial, uh, traditional ground, so you can apply to any of your panels. Or we have for you here silver point paper. We include for you two uh, uh, pockets of this and we include two metal panels. Wow, for me, it's look black. Oh, it's because green, gr oh my God, okay. So in reality, guys, this is green here. So don't be alert because obviously we have a green screen. So, and I'm in green today too. So that's why, no, I'm joking, I'm in black. <laughs> so, so, and that's aluminum. Look at this, this is aluminum surface. So it's Artifacts uh, uh, Company. Uh, they make special panels for us, for silver points. It's actually, uh, although it's called uh, temp panel, so then you can use or for temp tempera or for watercolors or for silver points. So uh, we include for you two of these panels, so then you will not wait as soon as you will get your uh, gift set, so you, can, you, you will be ready to, uh, to draw immediately. So, and of course, we put for you instruction how to draw with uh, silver points. So this is done by uh, Butch Krieger and uh, so printed by George O'Hanlon. So then we can, uh, you can immediately enjoy your gift. And so, like I said, uh, this is first time we included gold. This is um, quite um, expensive, but we, we gave you special prize for that. So, and... Uh, and that one called Nutty Box. Nutty. I just found that word and it's an uh, it's, uh, English word and it does mean sophisticated. sophisticated. So that's what we have for you. So uh, here's the box. And so what we include here we put three different, uh, three different metal points, all of them wide. So, oh no, I did one thin, I see right now. Thin silver, wide nickel silver, and wide copper. And remember when you will draw this copper, copper uh, reacts more than any other um, metals, reacts to environment, and it will become greenish. Uh, there are some even ways uh, how to make that um, even faster green. So that would be uh, nice to try for you. And uh, for that reason, I put instead of uh, copper uh, uh, wool pad, I put bronze wool pad. So then you can see the different grays on your surface. And again, that's the pan here. We include the ground just to try. So usually we sell uh, on bags of one kilogram and 500 grams. And here's again our instruction. Two packs of silver point uh, paper. And again, I just am used by this black panel. So 10 panels. So, so again, metal. If you need more explanation, if you have questions about artifacts panels, I would love to talk more. But for now, let's, um, let's continue because we have a lot to cover. And um, so now we will go to gilding because um, I don't know if many of you know, but a uh, whole our company started uh, 15, six, 17 years ago, actually, with uh, egg tempera artists and uh, mostly with iconographers, because we, uh, we had, George and I, we run non-profit organizations called Iconophile, where we would bring iconographers from, uh, mostly from Russia, 
to teach uh, here classes. Um, uh, and so George got in love with that medium, so which is, of course, that um, uh, egg tempera. And uh, I got in love with gilding. So, and um, that's, gilding still is big part of our company. And that's why I would like to, if, if you don't, if you were afraid of the gold, I encourage you to try. And that would be the great sets, um, uh, two sets to try. So one, again, I don't know which one I will open first, but let's hope then that would be uh, what I was thinking. Yes, that's it is. And it's called Master Box. And um, so what we included here, um, so that tool uh, calls Burnisher. And uh, I will return a little bit later to that to explain why do you need that. So, uh, and uh, this is special brush for gilding. And again, I will explain why you need that brush. Here's just simple uh, applying brush for, for gold. We include here spatula for uh, two different uh, things here. It's uh, one is rabbit skin glue and one is clay ball on another uh, word is uh, for gilding because you can't apply gold Yes, thank you. You can't apply gold uh, just for white uh, surface because um, otherwise, although uh, the gold is metal and um, one of the most beautiful metals too, but it's so thin. If you ever will look the, the leaf of uh, gold on the light, you will see that small holes. And uh, it's due to because the, the, the surface of that uh, leaf is so thin. So imagine if you will apply on white surface. So the white will penetrate through the gold and the gold will look like your regular, I don't know, metal can from your local uh, store. So, but you want that to look as the gold. So then you need to apply red ball or uh, you can apply yellow, which will look, uh, the, your gold will look much more warmer from that point. If you apply in silver, so then uh, at that point you would need to apply or blue ball or black, because again, uh, silver, although it's uh, much more thicker than gold, but it's still thin enough then uh, the surface must be absolutely covered. So we cover that. And uh, so we include to that, um, uh, it's, um, it's basically glue to how, because gold just, although when you will paint with gold and if you will try even to touch, you, that's why you never touch the gold by hand, but with brush, because uh, a gold adheres to everything except the places where you want. So it's why we need the gold, the gold size. And so that's called gold size. And so we included for you small, small amount to try. And uh, in this set, I included actually um, three different, so silver leaf, loose. So the gold and silver are, um, have two different surfaces, one called loose and one called patent. Patent, it's what's stuck to the paper. So it's you, it's not a flying leaf. So, and uh, <clears throat> so we have, I included patent silver, uh, uh, patent loose, uh, patent gold, loose silver, and, um, and, uh, let's put this way. I included both loose and patent gold and loose and patent silver. That's why Jeez, finally, okay, done. Another unusual thing here in that set, you, uh, I, I surprised them artists don't think often, but, uh, every time when you apply the ball, you need to make that surface so smooth. It must be like 
gold, uh, the uh, mirror, because gold will show up any imperfection you have on the surface. So for that reason, I included for you um, sand paper, and that's special one. And um, so um, again, if you will need any explanation further, so then you can call us and we can explain to you later. And so uh, all kind of uh, mixing sticks and cleaning sticks, so here. And that's called the gilding pad. That's where you uh, you put your gold. Okay, thank you very much. So you will take the leaf of the gold you, with the brush on that uh, on the um, pad, and you will use the brush like this. You will just take the small oil. It's enough for gold to adhere to the brush and so or on your hair so it's um, it's one way or on, on another and then you will just take piece by piece with that uh, with that brush so with loose gold you absolutely need that brush with patent you don't you can just cut any pieces because it's glued to the paper and then you adhere to surface and so and um, so when you adhere the the gold there are some so many different flying pieces which you need to collect because it's very expensive. Uh, and so I, for cleaning the surface, uh, we, we are giving you that uh, funny brush and it's very soft one, but it will uh, clean, uh, take out uh, all missing uh, gilding pieces. Don't throw away, keep it, and then you can uh, you reuse it again. And, um, and Last thing, it's uh, it's called horse hair cloth, and it's again just for polishing the surface. So when you apply the gold to the surface, so you need to make that again mirror-like, then you apply the gold, and then after that, you need to polish, because without polishing, the gold will not look like what you are accustomed to to see on the the best pieces you know known so because it must be uh, burnished or you know polished and so for that reason we are using uh, its agate burnisher Jesus and now a snow uh, California uh, flies here so that's called burnisher we have different sizes different different shapes but that called is dog tooth and it's most um, most common one so we have a question yes um, is the gilding set available in Canada from the Canada website not yet not yet but we will we will we Yes. No. What? What? Uh, you I want? Mean, they can. They can get it shipped from the U.S. Yes, but then you will end up like always pay. That's why we have Canada website right now. Then, um, at least you will not end up uh, to pay crazy shipping and unbelievable uh, taxes or customs. And so that's. Uh, but you need to yeah. understand. Then we uh, we we. It's still trial for us. We still need to figure out what Canada wants, what uh, Europe wants, because uh, now we are realizing, I mean, even between our stores here in the United States, stores selling different, uh, different products because they have different artists. And so um, that's why we are trying to figure out where we are with Canada. What do you want? Write us. Other, other day, I promised another gentleman to send the silver point paper. We absolutely will. And I think the pilot to the Canada will be ready by next week because we were waiting on panels. And so we are sending panels to Canada. It's artifacts panels and so it will be available on uh, Natural Pigments website. So in Canada. in Canada, yes, yes, in Canada, yes. So let me uh, clean up this very quickly. Where we are with time? One hour. We are on, okay, I will, uh, I will speed up, okay, so uh, and here's another set and um, that called nov novice, 
novice set if you don't want to use a if you don't want to use the gold yet you want to practice and you don't want to spend the money on gold although you know think it's like this I every time uh, on our uh, classes I every time saying then please paint with gold don't be afraid because you know uh, on the end so the the book of um, uh, of the gold uh, leaf it's uh, 25 leaves in the book when you divide that uh, from you know okay you are buying like approximately for 50 to 60 dollars it's basically your cup of coffee you are going to Starbucks so why do not spend that that on your um, you know gold and so it's not that crazy expensive but if you're still not sure if you want to to use gold so we we had another uh, um, set which <clears throat> And here uh, I will show you the difference. If George will show us closely, yep. So uh, again, uh, we include here all kind of mixing sticks. So you will need that. You will see. You will understand that later where you need. And so again, pad. But you notice the difference. And here I gave you different brush. And if uh, the first brush on, on the first set was, um, that was squirrel brush, squirrel, and that's very soft because um, you remember I told you then uh, gold is very uh, gentle and sen sensitive. So then you need very, very soft one. But this one is Bristol brush. So very thick one because for uh, I uh, we put for you three different uh, composition uh, leaves which they they pretend like they looking like gold but they it's not so they will tarnish very quickly so you need to remember about that so where uh, gold is not uh, tarnishing so you don't need necessarily to have a, a varnish for the gold but for the composition metals absolutely because the the uh, how fast it can change so we have copper we have composition leaf we have aluminum which will pretend like it's um silver and uh, so uh, these two just have different composition on the uh, copper and uh, uh, other metals so <clears throat> the idea and so then we include for you shellac so you would need to make your own uh, shellac solution, which you absolutely need to make that with um, denatured alcohol, not just alcohol, it's denatured alcohol, because if you will mix just with alcohol, so then it will become uh, cloudy or milky, so you don't want to use that. So it's very easy. You basically take one part of uh, shellac and, and uh, 10 parts of uh, denatured alcohol. That would be your solution for the, uh, for the varnish for um, fake gold. So, and everything else uh, as in uh, previous uh, um, set, we have, <clears throat> again, size. We have a uh, little bit different brush I gave. Just silvery one, okay. And uh, and again, uh, for polishing the surface, uh, I uh, I gave the the uh, horsehair cloth. You don't need uh, necessarily to have uh, very polished uh, surface for that one, because it never will on the end it never will look as a gold or even perform as a gold. So, but nice to try. So this is again nicely boxed very um, cool gift for someone or for yourself okay so we are done with gilding and what we left oh we have uh, now it will be sera colors so sera colors and of course uh, for those of you who don't know what sera colors are it's a uh, water soluble wax paint sounds crazy oxymoron so how you can paint with wax and especially if your wax paint looks like that in the tube 
even if you know uh, something about encaustic, so you do know then you're buying these cakes and so then you have hot plates and so and then you're uh, breathing the fumes and so then it's you need to paint very fast and so now you have opportunity to paint as like with regular oil no regular acrylics because it dries as fast as acrylics so how it works you just buy the tube like this you uh, you squeeze uh, to your palette, um, keep it moist, and uh, paint with your brush. As soon as water evaporates, it's become, it doesn't become encaustic necessarily, but it's, uh, it will be wax paint, and it actually looks like encaustic. And there, for people who are encaustic, true encaustic artists, Please don't be upset with me. I know some of you are just writing us and says like, this is not encaustic. It is not. We never had the pretense that it, it's uh, encaustic. So, but it's something to very similar and you don't need to breathe your fumes. You don't need to deal with hot plates. But if you layer enough, so it will look like you're encaustic and then you can take heat gun or, um, even hair dryer and um, and hot tools and modulate whatever you want and so one day you can have one painting ten years later you wake up and you just tired from that painting then you had you have a heat gun and you can change it so for people who uh, never tried our Sera colors so we uh, we put together 15 different colors and so the range is from so we, we even put pearl and silver and so we put two reds two greens two uh, blues and so everything uh, what would be nice to try first uh, on uh, on your tile so and overall it is <coughs> for set of colors just because it's my favorite baby because uh, every color what we are making it's like your child because it takes so long time to develop so Sera colors is one of the our favorites here in um, in natural pigments very unusual one and I want to uh, on your hands and so read on our website what it is how it works we have several mediums if you because if you will paint with water it will look more like like uh, watercolors it will be matte on the end but if you use with mediums we have uh, gel medium we have fluid mediums then it will definitely will give that waxy look and uh, so for this event uh, we gave best price so we basically it's almost 40% so I gave so then you will try because uh, I promise you you will love it so so many artists we convinced to try and so many of them switch now to Sarah colors and I'm uh, I'm proud of that that product and so very heavy box so we will move here and now it came time to show you what was our absolutely bestsellers last year that's how we understood guys then you need uh, holiday gifts and um, we will not fail again you so then this year uh, I will just show you what uh, what was uh, on uh, uh, it was paint making kits and so we have two different one one is for watercolor paint making kit and uh, it's changed a little bit from last year we decided to change only for the reason uh, then um, we understood that certain things uh, were needed and certain things didn't and so on oils uh, paint making kit we change uh, we whoops okay this side <laughs> so we had oil bottle but now what we decided to do we gave you our sampler okay oh that's fine that's fine Josh. so uh, so, uh, uh linseed oil sampler where you can try uh four different uh, oils okay so 
that's one on uh, on watercolors you will have that that cutie you see how that one this called molar and so molar you will use on ground glass so again this year we have ground glass you can see because if you will use just uh, uh, glass like this it's uh, most likely will not grind very well your colors so that's why uh, you have this surface and so you can see it's uh, the difference between this one where the lights were yep okay so uh, so for uh, watercolors we have this one because usually on watercolors or egg tempera you don't use much color so then uh, it's uh, it's very comfortable to make the paint with this one you but want to show how it's gripped yes so yes i will show right now and uh, and here is the uh, for oil and you can see the difference so this one you grab this way because you need more tension with the oil and so that's why so that's how you you grind your uh, your paint and you can see the surface of the the molar too and uh, on on that one you grab like this and so you grind like uh, like this so again it's preferences uh we we thought then it will be uh, easier for water cost or egg tempera to use that one, but it, it's absolutely not necessary. Um, if you choose this one for water cost, that's, that's fine. But in the set we have, and again, it's a special price uh, only because we, we do understand that once you buy the bunch, so, and uh, on the set we have, uh, so on watercolors, we have that knife. You can see that different shape. So, and uh, on oils, we have that kind of knife. So, because uh, knife, it's, uh, it's easier to work with this one. And for watercolors, we have watercolor medium and uh, watercolor solution to keep the, the watercolor um, uh, moist. So, and uh, of course, in our, like always in our store, we, we do have, uh, or, uh, you know, empty pens. So then you can buy at any point uh, and uh, an empty, and wow, okay, empty tubes. And uh, so that's, um, that's about it, about all colors, I mean, all our uh, products. And I finally, finally, uh, thank you for artists who call us and asking this and I, I know you uh, you wanted this because on our videos I always show that um, that uh, cards where I make the the samplers swatches, swatches. and um, so and I thought for holiday would be probably the great gift to have so your swatches you make your swatches and give to another to another uh, uh, artist so then they would not uh, need to do the same stuff and so anyway we will have that on the website today and so then uh, again this is Lonetta uh, Lonetta Lonetta card George yes and so and so basically uh, with this card uh, you already saw this several times in our video we are checking opacity or transparency or particle size because you can see obviously because it's very uh, sleek surface so where we are now okay okay no oh, okay so no no not many so thank you very much being today with us it's very unusual um, uh, session we definitely like it although it was a lot of preparation and uh, I thank you and uh, I thank all my um, my crew here guys basically were keeping very quiet all this time and uh, we are going to work and uh, enjoy your day see you next time thank you bye-bye